it's another Sunday. Yes, and it's time to focus our energy for the week ahead. Come on in. Take a few moments with me and let's just pull all of our energy back. What a weekend, huh? That full moon. Give me a hashtag full moon. If you are able to see it outside rising up and enjoy the beauty and the illumination that it offered this weekend. How was it for you? Was it intense? So come on in. We're going to get started. Let me go ahead and share this. And you're on the feed and you can share it for me too. I would love it. Just hit share. That's all you have to do. Just hit share. And come on in and join me. We're only going to focus in for a little bit. I'm not going to take too much of your time. Here we go. Found it. Come on in. How was your weekend? How was everything that you were doing? Did you notice the power of that full moon? Give me a hashtag, power of the full moon. Come on in. Join me. I know it's Sunday. It's, hey, it's hard to pull all that energy in. It's hard to pull it in from being outside. The days are getting longer, right? And that's exactly what the energy is all about, coming into that summer energy. Yes, are you out there looking forward to the summer as well? I know I am. I love it. You can tell I've been in the sun today. Yep, working on the medicine wheel. So come on in. Say hi. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you can hear me. Give me a share. That would be awesome. All right, I got a little heart there. All right, thank you. So come on in and join me. We're going to take a few minutes, talk about what's going on. And do a little reading, and we're going to focus our energy. We're going to align our energy for the week ahead. So give me a thumbs up. Hit that share button. I got some kisses, too. Thanks, Regina. All right. Hey, everybody. I am Terri Ann Hyman, owner and founder of Natural Forces Studio and the Spiritual Development Academy. Yes, and the Empowered Spirit Program. Yes, yes, yes. So come on in. Let's take a few moments. And pull our energy in. I know Sunday night, I always get a little anxious about the week starting. So my intention and my hope is that this will help you to release the anxiety and the tension in your week. And focus your energy. Pull it back. Ground. And empower yourself for the week ahead. So come on in. I'm about one more minute early. Say hello. Hit share. That would be super awesome. I've got some beautiful crystals back here. It's a beautiful generator, a little indigo light. I've got two selenites, two selenite cathedrals, a little balancing of energy as well for that. Hey, Tina, thanks for joining me. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a share. So what an awesome weekend. How was it for you? What are you noticing about that moon energy that came in on Friday? How many people had a really intense weekend? Give me a hashtag intense. How many people kind of floated through? Give me a floated through, all right? I know for myself, by Friday, yep, I had gotten it. It was intense for me. It pulled up a lot of the passion energy underneath that I had been holding down. And I took a day off, and that's exactly what I needed. That's one of the things I love so much about the energy of summer right that we're coming into the days are getting longer all right i got a few intenses right the days are getting longer but one of the things that we can begin to do is take our meditation practice outside that's exactly what helped me right i have my little focus in the mornings but i needed hours like two hours both friday and today out out in the sun obviously you can see my face working in the medicine well and then zoning and dropping the energy so that's one of the things that i really love because you know this full moon came in all right and now we're increasing the daylight, right? We're moving into the summer energy. And that's what our focus, and that's what we're going to talk about during this segment today. All right, it's 7 o'clock. So thank you all. Come on in, share. Thank you all for sharing and the thumbs up. And just for a moment, take a deep inhale and notice where you are right now. Notice where you've been all weekend. And pull all of your energy back. Imagine this beautiful golden ball of light above your head with your name on it. And begin to pull all of your energy back. Take a nice deep inhale. Bring in that breath up the body and just exhale, pulling it all the way down. 
It's got a nice picture. Strawberry Moon Echo Lake. Thanks, Susan. All right. I love it. I love technology. All right. So we're headed into a week coming right out of the full moon, right? I got a several of those intense full moons on here. Thanks for the comments. It was for me, too. So now we're going to kind of go into this next week. We're transitioning into summer, which is going to allow us to start getting out there a little bit more. But the thing that we need to start doing, and this is our focus for the week, is trust. It's time to trust all that work that we've been doing in the spring. All of those new ideas and the new projects and all those seeds that we've planted out there and take a little step back. That's the beauty of summer. All right, as we move into that season of summer, that direction of the south, the days are long. We can take a step back. And it's time to begin to watch with pleasure, with fun, those things that you have growing. That's exactly what it is. It's about to... I've got another message. Hold on. The message is there. That's so funny. So it's all about trusting. All right? As we come out into the summer, trust that your things are going to grow. All right, trust. I know for me that was one of the things I had to drop off. I've been working so hard, hard, working, 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 so many things. <sighs> it's time to take a breath, guys. We're coming out of spring, moving into summer. Summer is all about get the raft out, get the hammock out, have fun, enjoy the work that you've done, and trust. Trust the systems you've put in place. Trust all the things that are going on for you. Trust that now... You can go a little bit deeper inside your own spiritual being and begin to let that part start to attract all the things that are going to help you move forward with the project you've started. Sometimes we just have to take a step back from working so hard, right? How many people feel that way? Just working so hard and trying so much, intense, right? Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like, yeah, I, I agree. I've been working really hard too, right? So now we're going to start to have that energy come forward. We can trust a little bit. We're going to ground our energy. As we start the beginning of the week, we're going to know a little bit of that dreamy energy. We're going to be able to come out of that full moon energy. And that's where we can kind of drop into the heart a little bit, drop into the spirit, and put that energy forward for you. Step back. The days are long. Enjoy the extra hours outside. I think it's starting to heat up all around, right? And that's what we really want to do. All right? We want to dissipate some of that hard, Tina gave me a hard there, hard energy, all right? I know for me, I, gosh, I had to move rocks again, yes, move rocks, but as I'm moving them, it's like release the hard work, release it, let it go, ease and effortlessness. We're bringing in that energy now as we transition into the summer. So that's the message for this week. That's what we're going to focus on, and we're going to do a little energy empowerment at the end. But I wanted to do a reading, all right? My guest tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show. I'm very excited to have her. She is known as a terrapreneur. She uses these wild unknown cards. I thought I would go ahead and do a reading with the cards. She kind of became known on Instagram, 16,000 plus follower, her followers, with posting pictures of these cards and building her business from that following. She now has a shop opened in Atlanta, Modern Mystic Shop, and it's just a delightful shop. It really is. So I thought I would do a reading and see what the cards can offer us about being able to trust the path that you're on right now and all of that work that you've put out there. So let's do it. Let's use that. We're going to use the Wild Unknown. It's a tarot deck, all right? For those of you in my summer oracle school, we talked about this one last week. It's a beautiful summer. Um, just got another message there. Thanks, Susan, for the salad. Susan, okay, I'm going to say this. Susan was in my Reiki 2 class yesterday and had an amazing experience, a confirmation. Trust is the perfect word for that. She really did. She brought something in through one of the meditations, and within 10 minutes, she got a phone call for that confirmation. So, Susan, you've gotten me about four messages, four texts there, so I'm just going to shout that out to you. So let's all take a moment and let's see what this cards, what these cards can offer you about the message of trust as you move from the spring season into the summer and allowing this week to begin to guide that transition for you. So just take a nice deep inhale and just exhale out as we bring in the energy, bringing in all you guys, all of you from my group, the Empowered Circle group there, from my classes, bringing everybody's energy in as we open up and see what this has to offer us about trust. OK, 
Okay, we're starting with some doozy cards. My goodness, the wild unknown is wild, okay? I'm going to just read them as they are. So the first card that comes up is the Three of Swords. Now, I know in the normal tarot deck, the Three of Swords is all about the heart and the mind, the heart and the mind. Sometimes it's about that triangle energy, betrayal. All right, this one is really a little intense, right? Look at all that red. All right, it is of the swords, which is of the mental plane. All right, so this card is offering us that ability to really recognize where we are getting too intense in that internal mental chatter and letting us know that if we continue to go there and get really intense about everything and keeping it up here in the head and spin in those circles, we're going to kill ourselves. <laughs> All right, this, this card is pretty intense. It's got the red strings and ropes around the swords. It almost looks like a drop of blood coming down there. But really, that is what we do when we get into that fear of the mind, right? This is about the mind plane. So, I'm going to ask you to think about it. Where is it just in the mind for you? And where can you tie it up and get rid of it before it gets you, before it stabs more at you, all right? That's what the card is offering, and that's a really good card as we go a little deeper and say, okay, well, well then what do we do? The next card that comes up is the Father of Cups, all right? Now, of all the cards, of all the men court cards, in her, in her deck, she uses them as, like, family. So this is the Father card. This is one of the sweetest energies. So that's representing the idea for us to go into your heart, all right? To look into your heart. What is it your work is about? Not your head, your heart, and that's where we trust, Perfect card to come up. Now, the other thing that this comes up with in her deck is that sometimes we have insecurities within us, all right? And sometimes it's those insecurities that are coming forward, all right? But that's a vulnerable part, right? But that vulnerability can also make us human and can also help us learn and to grow. I don't know if anybody saw Benet Brown on Soul Sunday, but she was talking about this. It's that struggle to get up. All right, so it's that struggle to let this go, to trust through the hard energy, through that nurturing energy of yourself, all right, and let go of those insecurities, because it's time. The next card that comes up is the Eight of Cups. They're all broken. It's done. It's time to let those insecurities go, all right? We have been talking about this for a while. This isn't new, but sometimes it's hard. I know for myself, I had to throw fireballs and pick up rocks, and do a whole bunch of other stuff in order to really let that stuff go. But then the beauty of it is, is my whole inner guidance came back. My whole self of what I'm doing opened up, and I found some freedom within that. So there's that trusting too. So the next card that comes up is the Daughter of Wands. So if we allow ourselves to get out of the mind, to open up our hearts and that nurturing part of who we are and let that go, this will follow. This is all about visioning, seeing, infinity, passions, that vision in your own life. That's that trust. That's exactly what this is talking about. I love it. The cards are really right in alignment with it. Yes, this is a little intense with that blood dripping. All right, we don't have to kill ourselves, but come on, how many times do you get caught in the mind and just kind of chew it to death and get in that rut? So it's time to let it go. Be that nurturer to yourself. Whatever insecurities may be there, don't shame them. Bring them up. Offer them gratitude and trust. There's going to be a lesson. It's time to let it go. Perfect. And then open up to that vision, those visions, those dreams, those passions, that infinite potential for your own life. All right? Beautiful cards for this week as we go through. If you can relate, give me a hashtag relate. So the next thing I'm going to do, because there's also the animal cards that go with this deck. All right, Kim... Kim Kranz is the author of these cards, The Wild Unknown and the Animal Spirit. So I'm going to draw the spirit card to see what we can do to help us move through this energy. Butterfly. Butterfly is all about transformation. Wow, that feels so good. So maybe you are going through a transformation in your work. Yes, just like we're transitioning the seasons. Maybe you're going through a transformation as well. And the butterfly reminds us, have patience. Remember that cocoon that you're coming out of, and maybe it's that darkness and breaking through the new things that you set out in the spring, right? And butterflies, we see them in the summer, so that's a perfect animal, perfect totem, perfect insect, whatever, 
It's of the air, right? It's beautiful. It's that transformation that we all need to go through and find with those lessons of insecurity about who we are. So look for the butterflies this week. Look for them and see where you can relate to the transitions in your own life as we transition into the season. Take a nice deep inhale. Beautiful, beautiful cards. A little intense. But I think that matches the intensity of that full moon we just came out of. All right. So now let's just take a moment and do a little energetic exercise to focus our energies for the week. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale and send that breath all the way down deep into the earth and inhale, bring that breath all the way back up the body, through the crown, up into the heavens, calling in divine spirit, calling your guides, your teachers. And exhale, send that breath all the way back down through the legs, through the feet, opening up the foot chakras, connecting with the earth. And inhale, bring that breath all the way up through the feet and the legs, up through that first chakra, through the body, the crown in the heavens. And exhale, sending it all the way back down, deep into the earth, opening up that root chakra, open up the first chakra, receive the abundance from the earth inhaling bringing that energy up the legs through the first chakra up the body up the crown up into the heavens and exhale bring that higher dimension energy down through the body opening up that chashuna the vertical channel exhaling opening up the feet connecting with the earth inhaling bringing that breath all the way up moving through the first chakra up the body up into the heavens and exhale, bring it all the way down. Call in your higher guidance. Call in your higher guidance and ask the higher guidance to turn red. Anything at all that's getting in your way from releasing and trusting. Anything at all. Turn it red. And let that higher guidance come in and help you to transform it like the butterfly. Inhaling and exhaling sending it all the way down deep into the earth inhaling bringing that abundance up from the earth as we center our energy send it up into the heavens and exhale bring it all the way back down deep into the earth one more time inhaling opening up that vertical channel of light Exhaling, feeling that energy transform. Feel yourself grounded. Now imagine that beautiful crystal ball right above your head. See your name. See your name in red. Let it become a magnet. And let it pull back all your energy all the way down. I want you to drop it right into the heart. And as you inhale, send the energy from your heart. Let it open up, out. Trust. Know, love yourself as you move through this week. Exhale, sending it back. And inhale, sending it all out in front, opening up the auric fields. And exhale, pulling all of your energy now back. Let it drop into the heart. Feel your energy in the heart. Feel that love come forward. Feel the ability to drop out of the mind into the heart so you can trust your guidance this week. Inhaling, focus your energy, feel it centered. Feel the feet flat on the floor, pulling your energy back. Notice how you feel. Feel centered and grounded, feel the connection to the earth. Opening the eyes, coming back. So allow this focus to help guide you through your week. Get out of the mind, open the heart, open up to your visions. As you transform the energy from spring, we start to move into the summer. Look for the butterflies. Look for those messages for you. So join us tomorrow on Empowered Spirit Show, Kelly Knight, Modern Mystic, 
and their modern mystic shop. She'll be talking about that and learn a little bit more about how she used the tarot and Instagram to create such an amazing success. We'll be talking about how she uses the tarot in her work, her guidance, for her own work, as well as others. Come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle. You can find it on Facebook. Join us. Have a great week. Notice how you feel. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you so much for joining me. Share this with someone you know, someone that may need a little more centering, a little more focus for their work as well. To your spirit, have a great week. Namaste. Thank you, guys.